Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to use Piggy Custom Enchants plugin. This plugin allows for custom enchants for your items. This is a plugin for the Bedrock version of Minecraft, however, please ensure that you're running the Pocket Mine server type. After you've done that, head over to the link in the description, which will open this page. This is where you'll download the plugin from. Right click the direct download button and select copy link address. Because this is a direct download, you can just download it straight to our server panel. Now find your way back into the plugins folder on the panel, press the upload file button and then here under upload from web, paste the link you just copied and then press the upload button. The plugin should automatically download for you and now you can restart your server and you're ready to go. Let's quickly go over the config, locate the config.yml file in the plugin data folder. Here you can change the color depending on the rarity of the enchant. I'm going to leave it as default. You can enable and disable forms, show where the enchants display either in the lower part of the item or the name or both if you like. And there are other customization features too. Everything is commented here and it's easy to understand. I don't want to mention that this plugin does support permissions and the permission notes can be found on the plugin page. This includes the wiki page too, which I'll link in the description. Now in game you can type slash ce help and that'll display the commands you can use. A good one is slash ce info, which will actually show you the information about a certain enchantment. For example, let's do slash ce info soulbound, which is one of the enchantments. And as you can see, it shows me some information about the enchantment, like the rarity of it. You can also of course enchant the items with a command. To do this, type slash CE enchant, then the enchantment name, then the level of the enchant, and if you want to, you can specify a player. But I'm not going to do this since I'm doing it on my item. And as you can see, I've added the enchant to the item, and that's about it. It's all up to you how you want your players to receive the enchant. You can make special kits, you can have players win certain items that have these enchants on. So yeah, it's really up to you. Apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you have any other issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.